Thank you, welcome to our lab takeover. This is the Visual Cognitive Neuroscience Lab. I'm Professor Rob Reinhardt in the Department of Psychological and Brain Sciences. Um, and let me show you a brief tour of our lab. So welcome, this is our primary laboratory space. So this is where we study the human brain mechanisms of visual cognition, like attention, learning, and memory. Here are the electrode caps that we use, um, embedded with electrodes to measure electrical brain activity, not in And a camera to identify the um, 3D coordinates of electrodes in space. The, what the booth looks like inside, where participants play essentially our, our video games, where we record their brain activity and deliver electrical brain stimulation. The EEG rig. This is Vignesh. Hi, Vignesh. This is our other radio frequency shielded booth uh, where our participants perform experiments. This one's also equipped with an eye tracker uh, for our tracking behavioral experiments. Hey, I'm Renata. I'm a first year PhD student here in Art Reinhardt Lab. Um, currently, I'm working on visual working memory and its rhythmic structure, um, and also a little bit on attention. Our lab is awesome, so please come and join. Hi, uh, my name is Vignesh. I'm the lab manager here for the Reinhardt Lab. Um, some of the projects that I'm currently working on involve um, visual working memory, um, spatial working memory. Anna, you want to get interviewed? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I'm so bad at those cameras. You can stop it. Hi, I'm Olivia. I'm a research tech at the Reinhardt Lab. I'm currently working on a project involving visual working memory. Wei Zhang and uh, currently working in the lab as a volunteer and my project is about um, how your attention prioritizes information in your working memory and the lab is awesome. Goodbye! Hi there, Professor Rob Reinhardt here. I just wanted to give you a brief flavor for some of the latest research happening in our lab. Um, so some of the newest research is showing that we can bi-directionally both increase and decrease activity in the prefrontal cortex. The, this poster is showing that we can introduce um, extremely weak electrical currents into the brain, safe and safely, non-invasively, and upregulate and downregulate prefrontal cortex activity, uh, evolutionarily most advanced part of your brain that's in involved in decision making and control and reasoning and correspondingly um, up, and, up and down change learning performance as you acquire new skills on a task. So here with this activity that's actually um, a measure of functional connectivity, how your brain is functionally wired up, we can again um, both boost that and impair that by changing the direction of the electrical stimulation that we're pushing and pulling to the brain. I'm Anand Bansal. I'm a senior honors thesis student at the Reinhardt Lab. Uh, what I'm studying is, is how different uh, forms of memory in our brain guide our attention to analyze complex stimuli in our environment. Uh, let me show you something cool over here. This is an electrical uh, uh, brain of someone learning over time. You see some visual activity in the back of the head, moving to the front of the head as they're processing it, and then going to motor cortex as they're making a response. Hi, Shree. Hello. My name is Shree. I'm a third year graduate student in the lab. And I'm examining how different brain areas communicate with each other when you need to hold something in your mind. Hi, guys. My name is Luke Poole. I'm a master's student in the Department of Psychological and Brain Sciences here at BU. Here in the Reinhardt Lab, I'm a research volunteer interested in cognitive control. Fresh data from one of our experiments here in the Reinhardt Lab. Yes. This involves cognitive control. Think about impulsivity, emotion regulation. This type of activity, this red blob here, is a manifestation of a low oscillatory frequency uh, that likely originates from the anterior cingulate cortex. 
This has big implications for how we inform non-invasive brain stimulation protocols and also for treating those with cognitive deficiencies or deficiencies uh, in emotion regulation, impulsivity. I am Zeng Tan. I'm a senior honor thesis at the Reinhardt Lab. I'm currently running an experiment on a septuor right now. Something like really dense. That means that he's either moving his feet or like shrugging his shoulders and I'm gonna tell him not to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I'm looking at his EEG data, also looking at how he's doing the trials, if he's making concurrent mistakes or if he's making a lot of mistakes. I will like pause the experiment, like talk to him about it. And also I'm trying to see if there are any sort of artifacts or like any like big movements because it was We're trying to just get a sense of where the electrodes are placed here on the head. Although it might look like laser tag. So my name is Chris Gill. I'm a first year PhD student in the Brain Behavior and Cognition program. I'm currently working on a project that's looking at the electrocortical dynamics of learning. Hi, my name is Julia Schwartz. Um, I'm a senior in biomedical engineering. Um, what I'm currently doing with a study is studying the effects of attention. Um, in the brain when somebody is focusing their attention or distributing their attention across many different items. So they're having me put my chin in here and look at a screen and try to see in my peripheral vision if any of these stimuli are moving around or not. Hey guys, it was great having you. We're very excited to show you our lab. Um, yeah, and if uh, any of you watching are interested in participating in any of our research studies or would like to know more about what we do in the lab, um, you can get in touch with us. You can get in touch with us at cogneuro at bu.edu. That's C-O-G-N-E-U-R-O at bu.edu. Or you can call us at 617-358-8110. Thanks so much.